It looks like I'm filming like a, a romantic movie with paperwork. Oh, look at all this paperwork, yeah. You're such a weird human. I know. We should have brought light bulbs. <laughs> we should have brought light bulbs and just changed all their light bulbs. I mean, that's an option. Yeah, because this is this is so yellow. Rafi's rambles, Rafi's rambles, Rafi's rambles. <laughs> Hola, you amazing artist, and welcome to the Knot Studio. This is actually an Airbnb that we're staying at right now, and currently we are on our road trip, the expedition to the north, where we're going and visiting, like, art-centric places and natural beauty places and all kinds of things like that as we travel up north to find a new home. I wanted to do a video and reach out to you guys because I've actually been thinking about something uh, recently because we brought all the equipment with us on this trip. All the recording stuff, um, all the music stuff, and art stuff, uh, so that we could create art and do different things on the road. And it's been great because, you know, we've had it, we've had an opportunity to play music in northern Georgia with a good friend of ours. I created a work of art for the same friend and all that stuff is recorded and I'll be editing those and putting them on our adventure channel soon. But that being said, um, one of the things that I noticed was that I haven't really been digging into the art supply box as much. Now, first off, we're very, very busy. We've been visiting all kinds of places and doing all kinds of stuff. There's very limited time for art creation, which is something I should have thought about before uh, we did this trip. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to create all this art when I go to all the places. There's also editing video, which, you know, we're bringing our adventures to you guys on the Adventure Channel from editing video. And that's quite time consuming. But honestly, that's not really the thing that is stopping me from reaching into the art box and creating stuff. Because, you know, we're always kind of busy in the studio. I'm, I'm always working on several projects at once. So like, that's not the thing that's really stopping me. There is something about making it easy. And it made me really think about it because I found myself on this trip missing the art studio. And what I miss about the art studio is the fact that all my stuff is right there. Right there. Like, I can just wake up in the morning, drink my coffee, walk into my studio, and whatever painting it was that I was working on is sitting there. My paints are right there. My supplies are right there. It just takes, it's one step. You just walk up to it and you get started. Whereas here, everything is kind of packed in a pelican box, and it's just here. Let me show you what it looks like. You see that giant pelican box right there? Uh, some of my friends painted it, and that's what I use to bring my art supplies. Inside of that box is canvas, paint, rag, basically all the things that I need, right? It's, a, it's like a mobile art studio, and that's great. Except that that pelican box is kind of a pain in the butt to move around. And it's also just really inconvenient to open. So I found myself not wanting to deal with it. You know, not wanting to like go through the trouble of even pulling it out of the car sometimes. And it's not because I don't want to create. It's because I just, I'm like, uh, I'll do it later. Some artists really struggle with getting started, you know, like getting started. They want to work on something, but they just feel unmotivated and stuff. And honestly, if your art supplies are in a bin, like under the bed, or if your art supplies are, if it's something where you have to like do this and then this and then this in order to even get started on something, uh, I, I feel like that's just, I feel like that's really kind of demo, like getting started is going to be not easy. And this is something that I'm sharing with you guys because I'm like, okay, well, if you go through the same thing that I do, then maybe this will help you out. Like make it easy. Give yourself one step. Have an area, even if it's a corner or a nook or some place that is always just ready for you to just walk up and get started with the artwork that you want to create. Because the more steps that there are for you to get started, the the less likely you are to get it started. And I mean, I've always known this about myself, which is why our art studio is the way that it is. But like I'm experiencing I'm experiencing art withdrawal even though my art supplies are right there. It's actually easier for me to grab the guitar and start playing music 
And even that was kind of a pain in the ass because then I had to take the guitar out of a case and set it up. So like, I wouldn't call it laziness because it's more of like a convenience thing. I guess my advice, my, my thing, it's not even an epiphany or anything like that, but like my advice is if you find yourself, um, just struggling a little bit to create or if you find yourself struggling to be motivated or if you find yourself like you want to work on stuff but you're like oh i'd rather not you know any opportunity where you give yourself to say something along the lines of like oh you know what i'll just do it later oh you know what i'll just do it later because anything that causes you to say that it means that there are too many steps involved in order to even just get started. And that in of itself is just, a, it demotivates you. I want to work on something. I was looking at some of the artwork in this Airbnb, which there really isn't any. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll create something and leave it as a gift because the hosts here have been really awesome. But I can't even find the motivation to dig into the box. Next road trip, I'm going to make it really easy for myself. It's got to be a system where it is just ready to go. Like basically just one step. I got to do one thing and then I'm I'm ready to go. I just look at the box and I'm like, I don't want to deal with it. And that's not good. If you find yourself putting off creating art, take a look at whatever system it is that you have in place and, you know, how many steps does it take? How many things do you have to do in order to get started just creating? Like, it's got to be ready. It's got to be ready for you. At least in, in my mind, it's got to be ready because that's that's how I operate. So if anybody else can relate to that, just let me know. Uh, leave it in the comment section below. Or if you have a better system, especially when you're traveling, if you've got some insight for me on like, oh, you know what? You should do this or take a look at this thing or whatever. Um, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below as well. And that's it. Today we're uh, actually relaxing because we just put an offer in on a house. And at this point, it is hurry up and wait, uh, which is driving me crazy. So Klee is quietly working on some stuff back there. I'm going to be editing some of our uh, adventure videos from the road trip. Wish us luck. We're very excited about this new chapter in our lives and stuff. The road trip in of itself has been an amazing trip. Uh, lots of inspiration. We've met a lot of amazing creatives. We have gone to very inspiring natural beauty places. We've also gone to some very exciting like artistic and creative places and just it's been it's been a crazy roller coaster of an adventure rafi and Klee adventures channel here on youtube and that's where those videos are posting so if you want to see that i'll put that at the end screen somewhere around here and, and other than that i don't know when like we're going to return to our regularly scheduled program because we're still on the road for another couple weeks and all it all depends on what happens with the whole house buying process and whether or not we're going to be moving and what's going on with that and all that stuff but we'll keep you guys updated the days have just blended into one another it, it's been it's, uh, yeah, as you could probably tell, I'm a little bit like, ah, cause I am out of my depth, uh, with, uh, with the whole house buying process. So like, this is all new to me, but yeah, we will, we cover all that stuff on the adventure channel and, uh, yeah, keep it simple when it comes to your art supplies, keep it simple. Just one step. That is a lesson that I've learned because I really want to get my hands messy with some paint and honestly i look at that bin and i'm like next time so yeah don't let that happen to you and i guess that's it um i'm not sure when the next video will post on this channel i know that right now i have 14 videos in queue for the adventure channel and those will be going up soon uh as soon as i get them done editing it's just been we've been doing so many things at once that um yeah and thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, this is kind of weird. I, I feel weird because I'm not in my studio. But if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Adios.